Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something you probably haven't thought much about, plasticizers in your food. I was pretty shocked when I started researching this topic, so I wanted to break it all down for you in this video. First off, what are plasticizers? They are chemicals that are added to plastics to make them more flexible and durable. The most common ones are phthalates and bisphenols, specifically something called bisphenol A or BPA. Now you might be wondering, how do these chemicals end up in my food? Well, there's a couple ways. One is through the packaging and materials that come into contact with food. So if your cereal comes in a plastic bag lined with BPA, or your takeout soup is in a plastic container with phthalates, those chemicals can leach into the food. The other way is through environmental contamination. If the soil or water supply where food is grown or raised is polluted with these chemicals, they can be absorbed by the plants or animals. So whether it's prepackaged food from the grocery store or a meal from your favorite restaurant, there's a chance you're getting a side of plasticizers. I was pretty alarmed when I realized just how many foods might contain these chemicals. Some of the biggest offenders are foods we eat all the time. For example, studies have found concerning levels of plasticizers in Del Monte peaches, chicken of the sea salmon, and lots of fast food, like Wendy's chicken nuggets, Chipotle burritos, and Burger King Whoppers. It's not just unhealthy processed foods either, even organic produce has been shown to harbor high amounts of phthalates. This goes to show these chemicals are super common in our food system. The plastic packaging, handling equipment, and environmental contamination all provide avenues for phthalates and BPA to sneak their way in. Now you might be wondering, as I was, what's the big deal? Does it really matter if our food contains tiny amounts of these chemicals? Well, unfortunately there is some troubling research about the potential health impacts. The biggest concern is that plasticizers can disrupt our endocrine system. This is the system in our body that regulates hormones, which control metabolism, growth, development, mood, and more. Messing with this delicate balance can cause all kinds of problems. Studies have also linked plasticizers to reproductive issues like infertility, pregnancy complications, and genital abnormalities. Other potential effects include neurological harm, impaired immune function, and even tumor growth when exposure occurs early in life. The more we learn, the more alarming it becomes. And considering these chemicals seem to be all over the food supply, our exposure levels could be quite high. The dose determines the poison as they say, so frequent exposure to even small amounts can be a problem over time. With the potential risks becoming clear, I had to wonder, what is being done about this? Are there regulations in place to protect us? Well, the FDA does have guidelines about plasticizers in food packaging and handling equipment. Currently, they permit the use of nine different phthalates that have been approved as safe. However, not everyone agrees on what levels of these chemicals are really safe, especially with ongoing research linking them to health issues. Some companies are taking matters into their own hands and exploring alternative plasticizers that haven't been as closely linked to health risks. But even those replacement chemicals aren't perfect solutions. The field of plasticizers is still evolving, and there is much debate about which options are truly the safest. More research is definitely needed to inform regulatory policies. In the meantime, it seems like a lot is still unknown about the impact of plasticizers in our food. More consumer awareness and pressure could push the FDA and food manufacturers to address the potential risks. But right now, it's an ongoing issue without a simple solution. So what can we do personally to reduce our exposure and avoid the potential health effects? The first step is choosing fresh whole foods whenever possible instead of heavily processed and packaged options. The less contact your food has with plastic, the better. Secondly, be careful about food storage. Ditch plastic containers, especially those with recycling codes 3 and 7, as they likely contain BPA or phthalates that can leach into food. Switch to glass, porcelain or stainless steel instead. Reduce fast food intake as the packaging and gloves often contain plasticizers that can migrate into hot food. And don't assume something is safe just because it says microwave safe. That's not a guarantee. 
Finally, we can use our power as consumers to pressure companies and regulators. Demand transparency about packaging materials. Push for bans on harmful chemicals. Every bit of awareness helps create change. While completely avoiding plasticizers is nearly impossible with how ubiquitous they've become, following these tips can go a long way to reducing your exposure. Protect yourself and your family by making informed choices. I hope this breakdown gave you a better understanding about this issue in our food system that rarely gets discussed. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll see you next time.